So, this what's new in the world of tanks? Any, anything good? Other than... Uh, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think a lot of people are starting to uh, finish up their, um, their SummerSlam contracts or that whole op. Because I'm seeing more, uh, more of the tanks out there uh, being played by everyone. Um, they're giving them some test runs. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, again, that Sar Sergeant Slaughter I've seen out there. I haven't really encountered one yet, but uh, we did get to see one tonight for a brief second. Uh, that seems to be like uh, kind of where we're at. Um, I don't really know if we got new tank lineups or anything like that coming out soon. I think there's still some excitement out there that hopefully we'll be getting wheeled vehicles and double barrels down the line here. Well, I'm figuring uh, maybe, maybe even that Polish medium line. That Polish right? medium line on PC looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really fun. It, it, it honestly looks like a, a ball of fun. And it, bringing in that aspect, it can bring in a lot of other, other tanks with that jet turbine engine. So, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking the O2 um, that might be still too new but I knew there was a couple other tanks that were made that ran the aircraft engine some Brit tanks I know that which would be the uh, I think it was the Challenger line so that's pretty exciting yeah and, Absolutely. and I'm wondering have you checked out this new French light the Panther not yet. No, I have not. I'm kind of hoping to see... Uh, I was kind of hoping it would have been a premium branched wheel tank. Because typically, you know, they always drop a premium tank. Then they come out with the... Mm -hmm. So, I was like, kind of like, oh, sad to see. It. It's cool. It's a fa I've seen some, like, videos on it, but not... I haven't really seen any gameplay with it yet I was kind of hoping it would have been the wheeled tanks but hey inevitably I guess starting it off with the Prak Pravka I'm going to give a big shout out to everybody that's watching another viewer A10 Commander Root Dart Swinger Big Yikes, Bolts, Scorpius, uh, Slayer Von Death, Warbents. Thanks for tuning in this evening. Welcome to Wednesday Night Fights and watching it with us. And I hope your guys' evening is doing great. I'm trying to see there's anything else kind of cool in the news or what's going to be coming down is anybody read i've been on vacation so i mean i haven't even read the reader report in, in like two weeks so i don't even know if there's anything else that's going to be that's even rumored i haven't looked typically i usually have yeah, all this <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I haven't heard much in terms of the rumor mill. I think those are just kind of like the basic things that are out there that people are excited about. But like I said, there is there are new tank content out there, even though some might be some kind of reskins or reformatted type things uh, with the SummerSlam tanks. Um, but it does look like people are interested in playing them. And uh, right, yeah, I think people are also excited about new HD maps coming out, like we're seeing right here on Prokhorovka. Uh, it's a beautiful night map, uh, so we, uh, I, the community wants to see more of these maps, so hopefully in the next few months we'll see a few more maps come out. I'm trying to look up the Sergeant Slaughter tank. Get you all the, what, T-54E2? Kind of interesting little tank. Looks kind of like the Undertaker tank, to be honest. Yeah. Almost, actually, actually, that is the Renegade tank from PC. Oh. That would be the Renegade reskin, because it's like an E5 turret. Ish. But yeah, that looks like the Renegade, because that's an M103 hole. So, interesting. 
Because it's got the big back dovetail on, like they do on the E5. Well, if anybody of you guys out there has the has that tank, put it down there in the comments. Remember to go check out the YouTube content. We love seeing everybody out there on, on the YouTube. I know Beeb has put out some other stuff. I know I'm blending a whole bunch of stuff together, but... <laughs> Uh, there is the link. Send it out. Remember, head over to our YouTube. Go to YouTube, type in WNF. Um, go back to the homepage. Beeb puts up a lot of content. Uh, hit that subscribe button for the first uh, most part. Then remember to click that remind. And uh, then also give a shout to Beeb from me. There we go. That would be, I'm going to put up there, it would be the decoy versus 12 pans match. All right. It's got me wondering, maybe, oh no, it is the ultimate, yeah, you, so you can uh, this, I completely, fake news, fake news, so you buy it. Uh -oh. So you get the prime, so you get the base for 10,000 gold. Got it. And then you can get the ultimate, which comes with the 30 days of premium time, 15 times 3, 15 times 4s, for 12,000. And you get the Sergeant Slaughter crew in all of those, it looks like. Oh, really? And then it looks like primed, you get it also, of course, with the coded optics, improved vents, and B stabs. And that one is 16,155 gold. Now, the question is for, I wonder how long the contract. Uh, how many days left are on the contract? You mean on the SummerSlam? Well, no. I, I'm wondering if we're going to have... Because WWE puts on a lot of things. King of the Ring, WrestleMania, oh, yeah. um, all of these different... I, I wonder if we're going to get one, say, every pay-per-view. Yeah, so the question is, is how long of a deal did Wargaming make with uh, WWE? And, and that I don't honestly know the answer to. Uh, I don't know if they revealed that either, but is this like a full year-long multi-year and therefore like you're speculating multi-event looks like we got all the tanks up right yes sir yep okay uh i'll go down the white wolf side go okay. ahead sir um yeah we got zombie in the lt in the bat chat t4tk lone killer and yeet bat bum in the machine uh we also have a valor there by Foster Terror, and then uh, Triple Super Conquerors by Royal Blood, uh, Ghost, and uh, Lucifer. Go ahead there, legit, if you'd want to go down AMD, and then you can launch. Yeah, we got Triple Super Conk by I'm Great, Goku, and Free Fallen. We got Triple Valor by Nilrak, Lime, and Daddy. And then we got a Bat Shot by Chewie, and a Light Tank by iPig. Nice. All right. These two are very competitive teams. I'm figuring these guys will not have specs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even ask, honestly. They didn't mention I Oh, well. If they want it, they can ask. <laughs> Sig coming in there. Uh, can I play? I'm new to the game. <laughs> I had to mess with you there, there a little, Sig. Um, I had to mess with you there. <laughs> what up, Slayer Von Death? Cheers to you two. Wondering. Did I ever change? No, you know, we are on this regular delay. Alrighty, here we go. Boogity boogity, let's do some tanking. Yes, yes, yes. So, obviously, um... The uh, AMD is on the attack, which means White Wolves will be defending those two caps. A lot of great defenses going on these days. You definitely, Intel is, is the key. You've got to know where the attack is coming from. And unfortunately, okay. Zombie now finally just moving. I thought the T100 of White Wolves lagged out. Oh. 
Well, the good news is T for TK in that batch hat's getting out there on that one line. Um, hopefully, yep. Unfortunately, he's detected, so he didn't really get any spots. He got shot at, and now he's having to run away. But Zombie's getting up there in that LT. Right now, uh, AMD is just with a straight ridge line push. So right acro across the F line, and it looks like most of the White Wolf tanks have rotated along the track side on the 7-8. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I, they're going to go ahead and rotate those machines down. The T-100 of Zombie got a good spot, so I mean, they can just tie the noose right here and lock AMD out there on that field, let the batch hat get out of there. I mean, he could farm from A6. Exactly. This is, you've seen this a, a lot um, by a lot of teams on defense, is just to lock down the 7 through 8 line and keep that team out there in the field. That, their only option then is to try to cap A. Ooh, Royal Blood needs and to get his head down. He needs to get... I don't know if zombie needs to be out there anymore. There's, I don't know if there's any good reason for it. You know where all the tanks are. Right, and I'm trying to look here at Royal Blood. I don't know what he's trying to do, but he needs to get his head down there. There you go. There's no reason you're super calm. Great should be getting farmed right now. Great seems a little overextended on that E line. Mm. We are getting some rear side rotations with those two machines, Yeet and Lone Killer, getting in behind. Should be able to start putting pressure on these oh, super conquerors. Valor went down. Valor too far over the tracks. Yeah, way too far. Trying to that flattened out the armor. Yeah, Foster. Next time, buddy, just pull it back just a little bit farther. There we go. Zombie needs to get the heck out. They need to keep that T100. They're flirting with death and they're lit up. To maybe a two hit. Yeah. Right. I mean, they're all lit up. There's no. Because now Pig's gonna come on in here and just toy little too late yep little too Zombie late to pull down. out mm -hmm. i like that the machines Hello? rotated but i would rather have the bat yeah. chat back there because the machines pin at long range what are you That's shooting so at bro blood i'm trying to figure out why he's aiming at free falling Goku should just be getting lit up here by the rest of the team. Ghost is mad. Goku overextending, but... Goku taking down Royal Blood. Pig now making the jump. Coming over, he's going to start. go ahead and start shooting these uh, Super Conks at the end of what what. Yeah, that's exactly it. And I do like that... Um... AMD now is kind of rotating towards the battle. I'm kind of surprised they chose no um, cap support, but I do like this middle of the uh, map push over the rails and just are focusing out. Lucifer's getting just decimated right here. Great focus fire. Right. AMD has done a very nice job of um, taking map control back, and now they're going to throw caps, uh, tanks on the B cap and force white wolves with their few remaining tanks to kind of almost yolo in yeah <clears throat> honestly I, they can't even get there i they can't even get there i don't believe you would they could have got the say like bat chat back there on k6 k7 and then let the machines re-roll back up into like fox trot seven so they rotated around you keep them down low and then when those guys would have pushed over like goku you would have had two machines sitting right there and he would have been gone in a matter of seconds, and then that would have stopped that 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 E E F line push coming across. But hey, you live and you learn. Go ahead, this. Yeah. All right. So looking over on the White Wolf side, um, few damage dealers there. Foster Terror in the Valor putting up thirteen thirty. Um, one of the big hitters. Uh, other than that, it's only really eat that bum. In the machine, had a pretty darn good game there, picking up a kill. 35-49 uh, in the machine. Uh, nobody else really mm. cresting over a K there. Mm. AMD, though. That was a rough one. Very nice. Yeah, it was a little rough one there. I think they had good map position. It's, you got, this game is about <laughs> shooting tanks. You got, you got to get some sh more shots pinned. That's all there is to it. You got to get the damage out. Yes. Uh, looking over on the AMD side, Goku. 
in the Super Conqueror, putting up over 2k, picking up a kill, uh, 1680 in blocking. Chewy in that bat chat with two kills, 2885. Uh, free Fallen in the Super Conqueror, getting almost close to getting 2k there, blocking over a k. Nice game there. Uh, great. Wow. Uh, picking up a kill, uh, 3500 in damage. Really nice game in the Super Conk. Uh, none of the Valors really got going, but I guess they didn't need to. But boy, look at iPig down there, putting up 2251 in the T100 LT. That's a nice game out of your light tanker. All righty. Thank you to both teams that are coming out tonight. Not trolling. Just want to try to help you guys out because I know Great is going to be watching this up there on YouTube and I know Lone Killer also will be watching it. So mad love out to those guys. And then I have to say, those guys, a lot of teams have really got gotten a hold of the concept of watch every stream. Get that intel on those teams. Mm -hmm. Get the get the intel on the new strats and how to how to set everything up. And uh, those two guys right there, I know that they pour in hours and hours of time of just seeing what everybody else does. So, yeah, you have to. Uh, if if the content's out there, which it is, uh, you got to take a look and you got to figure it out. The other way is just scrim and team. You got to get out there and, like I said, right. cut your teeth by getting out there. And you don't scrim. You, you scrim people that are better. That's how you get better. Yes, sir. Yeah, you don't want to scrim the same teams that are in your division. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, there's something to be learned there. Um, but, I, I, you know, going against those tougher teams, you learn so much. Um, not just in terms of strats, but in terms of focus fire, in terms of watching how rotations are made. And that's probably the biggest learning curve, I think, for comp is understanding rotations. Understanding rotations and also learning how to set up another team. Get that other team to make that move that they don't want to make. And sometimes it's just getting one player to get their tank out of position. But boy, when you lose that one tank, things start to change really quick. Alrighty. I want to welcome all the other new viewers coming in here. A few seconds left on the clock. Look like we're under a minute. I'll go down the AMD the, the, uh, side. Actually, legit, you can roll down whichever team you didn't do last time. How about that? And then you two can swap it out. I'll let okay. you guys. Okay. White Thwubs is coming out with Monster Truck in an E3. Double Machines by Yeet and T for TK. I'm Fowler by Foster Terror and Triple Super Conks by Lone Killer, Ghost, and Lucifer. Interesting. E3 on attack. Mm -hmm. And a Death Star. And <laughs> a Death Star, of course. Did you get the AMD side or would you like me to grab that? Go ahead, sir. Okay, on the AMD side, bringing out the Jaggeroo, Goku, love it. Uh, I pick again in that LT, good choice, uh, Chewy with the Bat Chat, then we got the Triple Valors again, Sentinel, Green, Nilrak, and then Double Super Conquerors, Free Fallen, and Great. Interesting, Yagpants, is it a bridge troll or is it an A2 troll? Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I, it seems kind of like a, br a bridge troll, but you could stick it in that A2. It is hull down in that A2 position. Um, don't, don't know where it goes. I, I'm over I guess here I don't know where it attacking. goes. 
Oh, oh, were they on the attack with the Jagaru? No, I, I said, you're wondering about that. I'm just wondering how you're going to attack with the Death Star and an E3. That was my other question. Well, yeah, it was going to be... <laughs> 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 you're pushing with an this E3. Question, your question hopefully will be answered shortly. I say six I'm line push. Time here, legit. <laughs> we're trying to figure out where this Jagaru goes. But I think you're right. I, I think you stick it in either A2 or A6. Uh, kind of under that bridge there, and let's see what they do with the other one. It looks like it's going over to A, uh, A2. A2, like Hell's predicted. Let's take a look what I, White Wolves is doing here with... Are you going to do a six-line push or a seven-line push with the E3? That's that's my only question, because there's no reason to hold that no. sucker back. So, I mean, and the way yeah. that they're looking that they're going... It, looks like they're going under the bridge. So I guess a, se a seven, it, the, get, the match will be over by the time the E3 gets up there. Yeah, those things get up <laughs> there, yeah. So I guess you're going to have to go up. Well, given where their other two uh, machines are. Okay, so. No, one, they're going up on the hill. Oh, okay. So those guys are going to be, all right. So White Grab Wolves, yeah, those, those guys might as well set the cruise control and we'll see here in about four and a half minutes. It's going to take a hot, more than a hot minute to get up there. And a meanwhile, AMD, look at this oh rotation. Yeah. AMD has taken the bull. That is not where you want to let Super Conquerors get uh -uh. to uh, without taking damage. Because now you're pinned. You can't go over the tracks without eating high DPM, high pin tanks. Yagaru is going to move up. They realize they have complete field control. Uh, so we're two. in the LT all the way down to the bottom. The LT will go all the way down to the K line and also start uh, putting shots in these. Tanks. So here comes the cap pressure. Lone killer goes down. Huey is going to be able to get resets underneath the bridge, but he will get tore up, so he has to be very, very careful here. Alrighty. Do what I do like that kind of delay. This would work if those two TDs were in position to support those machines, because right. they could they could two piece that bat chat in, in a hot second. I can't believe it. I'm actually going to be kind of close on my time. <laughs> How long it's going to take? We're. we're getting ready to come up to the what three minute thirty second mark, and they're just now crossing G line, and they've well, already the lost is, two I tanks. Don't, I don't know if they should be stopping there. It seems like they should be supporting their two. Machines, the machine's down to 10 seconds. Chewie has to go in and get resets. Oh, here's a light tank. I pig, yep, I pig making the play. Awesome resets. Sentinel coming over. Yeet is a one. Yeet has to go down. Yeet goes down. The other machine, T for TK, just got ammo rack and is now a one shot. Oh, and there's a big miss from the tank destroyers. Missing the oh. Valor. That was the 183 missing his shot. Yes. So look now you have those two TVs that finally made it up there, but everybody else is dead. Yep. So it was three minutes to get on up there. They got one shot off. I mean, the E3 is going to be super powerful. Downside is the E3 is also exposing its lower belly to super high pen APCR for oh, Brit that tanks. Death Star's getting tore up. Here comes Pig. Pig's going to come in here. Go ahead, and he's going to have his way with these two TDs. Yeah, it's. I mean, uh, an E3 is not bad, but I would do like if you're gonna do an E3 183 combo, you need to have a light. Are you, are you something like a Stritz? Get a Stritz up there where you where it has the speed mm. to support those. Because you think about it, they had that cap down to ten. That's good. Yes. If they had fire suppression on that bat chat, they might win that game. Right. Absolutely right. correct. There, yeah, yeah, going on the White Wolf side, only one tank cresting over that 1,000 mark, and that is Foster Terror in the Valor, putting up 1770 there. Um, as you can see there, they, I mean, the, uh, I'm not pointing this out to be mean or anything, but just pointing it out in terms of what we we're talking about. You know, the, the E3 looks like it was only able to get uh, one successful shot off, and same with the, um, with the uh, Death Star. So, I mean, those are tanks that you want big games yeah, out of yeah, 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 yeah. You, you you deploy them to the field so that's what we're talking about I mean, even up um, there on top of the hill do us if you want to run two tank destroyers give it a stritz 
and a 263. Yeah, there you go. They're both up there fast. They both have good rates of fire, and they'll both be annoying as hell up there. Right, exactly. Yeah. If you want to run the double tank destroyer and put them on the hill, I would recommend out those tanks. But, I mean, hey. I, I, think they, I think they would have won it. I think they would have won it. Uh, over on the AMD side, what a damage spread across the board there. Chewy in the bat chat putting up almost 1,600 in damage. Doing some good stuff getting those resets on the cap against those double machines. Free falling in his Super Conqueror. Picking up a kill. Putting up almost 3K. Uh, great in his Super Conqueror. Putting over 3K. Picking up three kills. Doing it just a little bit better. All the Valors got involved here big time. Sentinel getting in there on those cap resets. Picking up two kills. Almost 1,700 in damage. Nilrak putting up over 3K. 3K. Picked up a kill. Uh, Lime Green also picking up a kill. Doing 2,300 in damage. That Yagaru uh, just looks like a one big shot. It, hit, it landed there for just over a K. Um, and then finally, IPig, who uh, what I saw looked pretty good getting in on the cap resets, getting up there mm -hmm. against the uh, TDs at the end. Over 1,700 in damage. Had a really sweet game. Uh, where are we off to? What map? This is a steppes. Steppes, steppes. Mad love going out to these teams coming out tonight. Thank you so much for coming out and playing for this group of peeps. Thank you for all the group of peeps coming out and watching WNF. You guys, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Um, that, as like before, four years strong because of you guys. Four years of doing this. <laughs> Thanks to all of you, people, viewers like you guys, and of course the great community. So I have to give a big giant shout out to all of you guys. Um, WNF would not be going on their fourth year of streaming World of Tanks console community um, if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you very much, community. All right. Steppies, we see Artie maybe? Uh, I don't know, but the party exploded for a second there. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think we're back. I think we're back. Yeah, you guys... I think we're back. It's okay. I just went off on and uh, t telling everybody thank you. And, uh, you know, for us going uh, coming up to our, what, four years, or actually I think we're beyond our four-year mark, and just telling everybody thank you for tuning in. And if it wasn't for the community, yes. the, we wouldn't, have, wouldn't be able to do this one bit without the community support. No. So on uh, Steppies, we appreciate every single person who's come out and uh, ever viewed, supported, gifted. Uh, no, we always appreciate it. Exactly, and especially if you want to go see, we have a whole bunch of vintage WNF up there on our YouTube. Go to the YouTube, type in Wednesday Night Fights, World of Tanks. Matter of fact, I think you just type in WNF. I think there's one other one that was created after we were that does Street Fighter. So AMD coming out, IPig and, and the light tank T100LT Chewy. I am great both in the Bat Chat, Sentinel, Lime Green, and the Valors. Daddy, Free Fallen, Goku, Super Conks. Over to you, this. Yeah, AMD just likes that lineup. It's a really effective lineup, whether you're on proc or you're doing steps. Over on the White Wolf side, Zombie and the LT uh, coming out there for the light tank. T for TK in the U Des 15 16. Don't see that a lot in comp, but there's some good places to play it. Uh, Yeet that bum uh, in the machine, in the Valor Foster Care, and then Triple Super Cox, uh, Ghost is Mad. Uh, Dead Man and Lucifer. Oh, and there it is. Lone Killer in the G. I was waiting for it. 100 Arty. He loves that tank. Yes, he Watch does. Watch out, kids. He's very, very deadly. <laughs> I used to be skeptical, and then once you watch Lone Killer in that, you're like, oh my goodness, he, he is, just doesn't right? miss. He doesn't miss. Well, and then that, he comes into the parties ever so often, and you know, as a lot of the community does, comes into, into my parties and joins in and, ha and has some tanking fun. I know he uh, he loves picking that, the GUI, as everybody calls it, the GUI 100. Um, yeah, he's, he's pretty talented in it. 
I'm not condoning yeah. Artie play, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he is good in it. Yes. All right, guys. So here we go. If you haven't done NBA format yet here on Proc, get ready. Pull up them pants, grab a beer and some nachos, because this is about to be explosive here in about mm, three and a half minutes. Yeah, I like. I really like uh, steps in, in terms of NBA because I love just that both caps seem very susceptible to good attacks, uh, and you can play the long play or the slow play. You can sneak little light tanks onto the cap. There's so many different great plays here, and we've seen some great boosts and climbs uh, made by a lot of the higher level teams. But, uh, Interesting call here. Free falling is going to stay back. That is a little too far back. He will not be able to detect a medium coming on the until base. Until it's too late. Yeah, until it's they too late. Everything. AMD has put all their, so far, they, all their eggs in one basket almost. And that basket is A2. <laughs> all right. So they got Pig up top. So that's going to nullify the A cap. The Right, one man. Free fall and it's just <laughs> in his lone take. Like, what did I do to get that pull that straw? Oh, there we go. Great, looks like great. And oh, and Chewie gonna fall back. All right, he's not gonna be a. Oh, look, pigs up in the climb. They boosted. Yep, they boosted him. him. A boost. Smart. That's a filthy position for that LT. We've seen yep. that. Ooh. So that gives that pretty much covers a cap as long as the Valors do not detect him up there. So pig cannot fire right now because Foster will spot him. Yep. I mean, uh, uh, there's the Gui firing, uh, hitting a 196. Uh, it, that had to be some, he's firing some HE out of that one because, I don't know. It, putting Pig up there seems well, repetitive. Well, here comes the rotation at the bottom cap. So here you have Great and Chewy running a big against that you devs and yeet that's an interesting i don't, that could be very interesting I have to keep like one eye on that and see if that develops into anything right i mean at this point i mean it just seems to have the light tank in a1 and then have it double covered with valor oh great oh no great you cannot go down that is one thing that it's not worth it homie not worth it get on out of yeah, it yeah 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 I do kind of like over on the tracks where Goku, uh, he jumped over the tracks, but he got behind that hill where Artie can't hit him. So he's doing really a good job in that he's protecting his tank, but it also means White Wolves can't push forward. Unless they dig those Valors and Super Conquerors out with Pig up there, they're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Really, their only play is now, in my opinion, is either wear him down with Artie or go after the B cap. Right. Rerotate. Now you have three tanks down there. You have three tanks down there to guarding it. I don't know. Yeah, it, it just look, it looks like pigs coming down. Yep, they know where everybody is. Yeah, there's just no reason, right? So right. look, they're moving. Look at the rotation with the bat chats. They snuck the bat chats up that little line. Well, oh, great, just got detected. But you talk about. Uh, being able to make rotations, you do not want to let bat chats get right down the middle. Look at those. Those bat chats that should be able to go right in and kill Lone Killer. Wondering when Zombie's going to stop the push. Wondering when Zombie's going to stop the bat chat. There it is. Uh, he, I don't know why he went after Chewy. He should have went after Great, because now Great's going to clip out. Oh, oh my oh. God! <laughs> Great shot. Holy crow. Or great. <laughs> Good job, Lone Killer. Chewie now Chewie is Chewie on lost. reload. Uh, <laughs> zombie has to zombie has to clean him up. There it is. He's a one now. Zombie should be able to finish. Ooh. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, Lone misses that one. Oh, he saved the Zardy. Good job. Whew. Still a close battle here. AMD did the right thing, though. When those bat chats went in, they pushed up with their heavies. Um, thing is, is why not just jump on cap with their other tanks down on B? 
Uh, we're just going for a kill all here. White Wolves looking to get, to pull it. Hey, legit, who, uh, yeah, whose map pick was this one? Yeah. AMDs. I, I but you had two tanks down on B cap. Was I wrong? No, the they were there, and, and they drove off why for whatever not? reason. I'm not sure why. I don't. I think the game would have been over. 15 seconds away from winning right now. And the only thing that could have got there would have been the light tank, which you could have drove your light tank there, and it would have been over. Yeah. Now they're risking. I, I, they, maybe they'll pull it out, but I mean, uh, Lone Killer just goes down. Pig takes him out. Zombie is going after Pig, but he misses his shot on the move. Oh, TK misses his shot. Oh. TK's got to be careful here. I mean, he does have some mobility, but... Eh. Yeah, I hate to second-guess the team, but I just... Uh. Yeah, I would have capped. It would have been done over. Yeah. That's it. He's working, that, he's, oh, he's yeah, working nice. it. He's working he's doing, it. He, he's moving that armor back and forth. and He's wiggling it, man. He's, he's oh. trying to keep that armor facing front, but now all three are in. It oh, would be really records. helpful if Zombie had taken out the, the light. The pig. IPIG, yep, because IPIG is yeah, what IPIG ruined that whole party. Yeah, IPIG killed the Artie. IPIG is he's, just doing what a light tank's supposed to do. Uh, being annoyed. <laughs> and oh, this will be one. it. Three and out. Wow. Typically Great eight. Great battle, though. Right. I, I really liked what both teams did on this battle. I guess I was just pulling for White Wolves to get one on the board there. <laughs> You can see it. Look at look at the damage on the White Wolf side. Some really good damage there. Right. Um, in the Super Conqueror there, uh, 1140, uh, 1143 there by Ghost. Um, Dead Man also putting up over a K. Uh, Lucifer, nice game, 2700 and picking up a kill there in his Super Conqueror. Uh, Lone Killer, like we said, he does a good job in that tank. Took out great with that... Um, Nice uh, shotgun blast, putting up uh, uh, 2281. Um, eat that bun in the machine, putting up 2500 in damage. Uh, that Udez, we saw T for TK just getting in there and mixing it up, picking up a couple kills. 2500 in damage, blocking 1320. And Zombie and his LT putting up almost 1600 and picking up a kill. Definitely in terms of damage, really nice game for White Wolves. Um, AMD with that unique strategy of only leaving one tank to guard the cap and then moving everything across the rails. Um, some pretty good damage there uh, in the bat chat. Chewy uh, putting up 1188. Scrolling on down, Daddy Stride in the Super Conqueror putting up uh, 3429 picking up a kill and 2260 blocking super game there by stride free fallen also put up almost 1700 in damage uh, the valors were just doing work they were in their element and I think probably steps is one of the best maps for the valor next to prog Agreed. lime green double kills uh, 3500 in damage Really good game there. Sentinel, two kills, um, putting up almost 2,700 in damage at blocking 1240. And then finally, Light Tank, we were talking about Pig. He was all over the place in that game. Three kills and putting up almost 1,900 in damage. So GG's to AMD and a great last battle by White Wolf. Yes, sir. Both these intermediate teams putting on one to hell of a great show. Thank you guys for coming out so very much. You know, these two always put up a great fight, and they always have a lot of fun. Super excited, uh, and it looks like we are done, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some fun matches tonight to watch, though.
Got to see some encounter matches with that uh, tier 9 761 format earlier, and then some uh, good old NBA action. Wrap things up. Right. Can't go wrong with that. Nope. All right. Well, great Wednesday night. We'll be doing this all over again next week. If you guys would like to have your teams showcased or you would like to come out and play just right there on the discord i'm going to throw out the invite right there for you guys hop on in there give us a big shout get your team on up in here um, we'll get you all labeled and get you all taken care of absolutely um we're going to be uh tournament season coming around wnf will be covering lots and lots of different tournaments mixed between me and beaver um, so that's going to be super exciting, of course, uh, with Beaver. You, you have the great commentary of Lonky and Cutter on that side. And then, of course, over here on my side, uh, love having this and Legit. Um, I have to give a big shout-out to all of the, the WNF mods and all of the staff that has been helping run um, the WNF Discord. So big shout-out to all of you guys. Um, thank you for being a WNF team member. Um, well, legit, you got anything to for to say, sir, before we wrap this sucker up? No, it's just, other than it's good to be back and have some good matches coming up. Uh, hopefully we'll see your team on here soon. Hell yeah. All right, Mr. Dis, what do you think? Hey, I just want to say once again, thank you to the teams for showing up. Thank you to all the fans and viewers for tuning in. And those of you who will be checking us out later on YouTube or a Twitch rewatch, also get over to YouTube and check out some of that great WNF action. Fantastic games there to watch. All right. Thank you so very much, Dis. Thank you to everybody who's came out tonight. There was a, a long list of all the viewers. Uh, yet again, shout out to everybody who tunes in and watches the show, supporting us to the whole community, um, to everybody that that has done so much for us. Um, we hope that we can be able to repay you guys back in spades. Um, so thank you. Remember, everybody, please be safe out there. There are some nutty people just everywhere. Be safe. <laughs> Uh, remember, every Wednesday night, come come back here, sit back, relax, I promise we're not too crazy on this end. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> be good, be safe, stay healthy. Peace. <laughs>